An interesting bit of revolutionary war history draws people to the banks of the Delaware River on Christmas Day every year. But as eyewitness news reporter Anita O oh explains, the surprise attack this year came from Mother Nature. For those who participate, this Christmas Day event is significant and the history that inspired it even more so. My family goes back to the revolution. They actually fought at the Battle of Germantown. Some of us crossed this Delaware River on Christmas Day in 1776. So we're here to commemorate what they did. The Washington Crossing reenactment in Bucks County draws crowds of hundreds, a holiday tradition for 65 years. This will be my 44th year. But this year, a key part of the annual event could not go on as planned. It stinks because it's Christmas and I wanted to see it. Initially, low water levels had threatened the river crossing portion of the reenactment until nonprofit Philadelphia Waterborne came to the rescue. Philadelphia students had initially built smaller, lighter boats to help get the troops across the river, but unfortunately, high winds have prevented the reenactment from happening. The wind is crazy here, yeah. It was a disappointing turn of tide, says John Gadziba, Langhorne's police chief, who was in character as General George Washington. We've done a tremendous amount of work planning where the boats were going to get put in, uh, extra gang planks, some makeshift uh, docks painting the boats, prepping the boats. But now they say it's a chance to create another chapter of history. Hopefully next year we'll have uh, the water level will be high. We'll get the four dorms and it'd be nice to have these little boats in the water as well. A Christmas tradition made perhaps even better. In Bucks County, Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.